Alrighty, Stoners, what's up? And welcome to another local band, Smell Call. This is going to be a Wake and Bake album review. Uh, it's by the band Delta Knot. The album is called Part One. They're from Sheffield, United Kingdom, in England, which is actually home to Bring Me the Horizon. Kind of a cool uh, coincidence. Delta Knot.bandcamp.com or on Facebook and Instagram at Delta Knot Band is where you can find them. And if, you're, if you've never tuned into an album or EP review by me before, um, well basically, I've already heard the whole thing, jotted down notes to every song. There's only five songs in this album, but each song is fucking long. And I mean, one song's 18 minutes long, one song's 21 minutes long. So it is a whole album, even though it's only five songs. But it's awesome. So um, before we get started, uh, what, like I said, when I was explaining, I, I jot down notes for each song, and I kind of read them off before we listen to snippets of each song. There's no way I can smoke for 20 minutes on just one song, and then that's just one song. So I kind of do about a minute and a half to two minutes of each song just to kind of keep it moving, otherwise you just get bored staring at me the whole time. But um, <clears throat> after that, we do like an album assessment and give a final score at the end, and uh, hopefully you guys dig it and discover some more Delta Mall. But before we start, we must do the sponsors, Young Blood Productions, Boost AK and Taylor Products, Octave Studios, located in Medicine Hat, Alberta, Canada. If you ever get a chance to stop in and mention local band smoke, I mean, really, really good recording and mixing rates. Jason Trevino Tattoos, Vape Out, and Dirty Radio, the free uncensored app that you should already have downloaded. I'm on there every Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific time. And I'm actually doing a, going to a really, really cool event with Dirty Radio this weekend. It's called Mud and Music. It's like two stages of bands. There's like 10 bands playing, 12 bands playing. And then there's Chicks Mud Wrestling all night. And uh, should be fun. I'm one of the, I'm one of the refs, so uh, I may post some footage for that, but that's going to be a good one. All right, so let's start it off. Delta Nut, part one. That's the name of the album. Album review. Track one's going to be called Bells of the Stry Church. Did I spell that right? No. Bells of the Sky Church. Of course, what's a stry? Bells of the Sky Church. Uh, this is the intro song. It starts with a cool wah-wah effect on guitar. It's got a really groovy bass line. Uh, it's got like a subtle, cool break halfway through that just kind of calms the soul and sets the pace for what's to come on the album. So let's dive right in with Bells of the Sky Church, Delta Knot, track one. Sky Church, track one. I'm just now realizing I don't think I heard a single bell in that song, just saying. But uh, track two is going to be Horror, Vacu, Vacui, Vacui, V-A-C-U-I, do not know how to pronounce it. Um, this song is actually 18 minutes long, but uh, this track starts a little more rocking than track one. Uh, this really, really cool, good solo section. Now, I don't know if I want to call it a solo section because there's a lot of just like, going on throughout the whole song. Um, there's also no vocals yet up to this point. 
I'm not sure if I want to call it instrumental, but having already heard the whole thing, I am. I think I'm going to call it. Although there's one or there's a couple of little hidden vocals throughout, but it's it's not enough to pretty much overtake the title of instrumental. So I'm just going to leave it at instrumental. I'm going to call it instrumental experimental progressive. Um, Drastic change, about two and a half minutes in, and this is the second longest song on that album, uh, but it's it's still rocking. So, horror, vacu, vacu I, vac, vacui. I'm not sure. English was not my best subject, but Spark, if you got it, track two. Two, we made it to track three. This one's <coughs> called Jam, but then it has an infinity symbol. This one's gonna call it Jam Infinity. Uh, it's got a sweet twangy guitar <clears throat> in the beginning, almost like improv jazz over the drums. Now, what I mean by that is like some of the parts of this song sound like they're just jamming and then just winging it freestyle playing, which is awesome. I love when people do that, so that's why I call it like improv jazz. Uh, <clears throat> it's a really soft, chill jam, but it gets more aggressive about two minutes in. Um, these songs so far take you on an up and down ride for sure. Smiley face. So this will be track three with Jam Infinity from Delta Nap.
See, that one's just a cool tease. You only got to hear the soft chill part. And what I want you to do is go to deltanaut.bandcamp.com, hit play on track three, jam infinity, go to the two minute mark, and hear how much it rocks right after that. And while you're doing that, I want to take a short break. We'll be right back with part two of the Delta Knot album review of part one. <laughs> Didn't mean for that to work out that way, but it just did. Also, they're at uh, facebook.com slash delta not band and instagram or instagram.com slash delta not band. Man, these wake and bake reviews, they get me going. It's going quick. All right, we're right back with uh, part two. All right, guys, we are back with part two of the Delta Knot album review for coincidentally titled part one. I know that can get confusing and I apologize. They're from Sheffield, UK, which would be England to you guys that may not know that, but I think everyone does know that. <laughs> Deltanot.bandcamp.com. This is a really, really stupid question, but why do some people call it United Kingdom and why do some people call it England? Like, is there a preference? Is there, is the United Kingdom more than just England? Did I just not know that? Anyway. This isn't a history lesson, this is a rock show, a local band smoking show. Facebook.com and Instagram.com slash Delta Not Band, by the way, is where you can find out some more stuff in addition to the Bandcamp link. We've made it all the way to track four, which is the uh, title track to the band's name, Delta Not, also the longest song on the album that comes in at 21 minutes long. Um, <clears throat> this is another groovy rock track that's, uh, that's kind of all over the place as ter in terms of adventure. Like, you're going to go here, you're going to go there, you're going to go over here, you're going to go over there. It's pretty fucking wild in a cool way. Uh, it's got tons of quick little mini shred sections that I love. Uh, I wrote down again, impressive guitar sections. I must have just kept listening and thought again, another really cool uh, guitar section right there. And then I put a little star, which means it's my favorite track on the, uh, the entire album. So uh, enjoy. Track four, Delta Knot, a little snippet of it. I encourage you guys to go and listen to the rest of this track and uh, bring like a joint like this along with you and go on that adventure. <laughs> So that was track four, Delta Not, the uh, title track to the band name. And uh, we made it to the outro song, which would be called The Sorceress. <clears throat> uh, so this one starts with a slow drum pattern, but I noticed there's some like chanty kind of, uh, kind of like going on in the background of this one. So there is some vocals in this album. Um, <clears throat> more of that funky wah wah guitar going on. I put that bass line, smiley face. Um, this track takes you to outer space and drops you on a planet with nothing but headphones and a fat doobie, if that makes any sense. And then, you won't hear it in the snippet, but way at the end, you hear the Sorceress. Some, uh, some additional vocals at the end, that part's kind of cool. Track 5, The Sorceress from Delta Knot. 
Check it out right now. for my uh, <clears throat> assessment. All right, so there you have it. The uh, Those are the five tracks on Delta Knots Part 1. They're from Sheffield, UK, deltanot.bandcamp.com, Facebook, and Instagram. Both are at, uh, at Delta Knot Band. And here we go with the review. Uh, Delta Knots Part 1 takes you on an instrumental ride through decades of rock music. But at the same time, it covers sections of punk, jazz, and classical. While some songs are very long, they don't seem really long if you just close your eyes and kind of, and ride that wave. Uh, my favorite tracks were the extremely long Delta Knot, <clears throat> which is over 20 minutes long, but I also really enjoyed The Sorceress. They kind of at times resemble <clears throat> an instrumental early, early Pink Floyd. Cheers to that. I'm going to go 8.1 out of 10. Um, I enjoyed it. At, at times, I thought some sections were just a little bit too long in certain parts, but that's kind of what you guys are about. You guys are about long songs, long sections. So I worked with that, and I, I felt it. And like I said, like I closed my eyes at certain times while listening to it, and just kind of rode the groove of the bass line and just wherever it took me. And then with a little shred section, then it'd stop and pick up and go a little faster. And then on Sorcerer, she kind of had like this like mystical, witchcrafty chants and shit going on. Um, that shit was cool, man. So 8.1 out of 10, and I appreciate you guys uh, doing this. I had a lot of fun. Once again, go to deltanot.bandcamp.com, and I encourage you guys to listen to the whole album for yourselves and come up with your own album review. Let me know what you thought. Let them know what you think, especially re-jam uh, the, the song Delta Knot and the Sorceress all the way through. Those are my two faves. Um, and once again, Facebook and Instagram, they're at Delta Knot Band. And uh, definitely give them a like and a follow if you guys could. That'd be fucking sweet. If you get a chance to see them live in Sheffield, let me know how the show is, too. Um, if you're in a band or have to make a dope 420 product, you're interested in having this done for your own self, or maybe you're just interested in free promotion, well, all the information can be found at facebook.com slash local band smokeout. Make sure you like the page, watch the video at the very, very top. It'll explain everything how to submit correctly and or script the waiting list, and or get an album or EP review done. Um, <clears throat> other than that, I'm on Instagram, Masters, YouTube, Twitter, and Snapchat. Cheers, and keep blazing. Peace.